I would like to seize this opportunity to comment on the UK government statement which was released yesterday. Nigeria's status has not changed. Nigeria is not among the red listed countries that need to mandatorily quarantine for 14 days in a supervised UK facility. The statement released by the UK government is consistent with the press statement released last week that Nigerians will continue to isolate upon arrival to the United Kingdom. This is similar to our requirement that travelers from the UK should isolate for seven days when they arrive Nigeria. The Presidential Steering Committee is in the process of reviewing these requirements. We have been in touch with the UK government. Just like they stated clearly in their communication, the current listing of countries with approved vaccination certification has just started in the UK. They are reviewing the country's programs in phases. If you go through the list of 50, you will find that no African country made the list. The UK government is yet to comprehensively review Nigeria's vaccination certification program. From my communication with UK government officials, these vaccines that are administered in Nigeria are approved. The UK government officials are also involved with the vaccination program in Nigeria through the Foreign Commonwealth Development Office, the FCDO. And they are optimistic that by the time Nigeria's COVID-19 vaccination program certification is assessed, it will be approved. There are many countries in the world, so we, like many other countries, are in the queue for this assessment. Once it gets to our turn, we are more likely than not to get approved in the coming weeks. Like the UK government has stated very clearly, the process of approvals will happen in phases, country by country, based on an assessment that is yet to be conducted in Nigeria.